Get the key, get the key. Oh! Hello. Uh, didn't see this. Let me pause that. Uh, hi there. Today I'm going to talk to you about video games and just how good are they for you. Video games have gotten a really bad reputation. You know, all the blood and violence in them. That's only a part of the video game world. And people this associate with, if kids or even grown-ups play with them, they're just going to lead themselves down to a road of disaster. And it's not true. Video games can be very helpful. First, I want to tell you a story. Um, when I was a little, little kid, and you know, video games were starting to get into bigger and bigger, and graphics are flashier and flashier, I went to go pick up Halo. And I went to go pay for it, and of course I was underage, so my mom had to buy it. And in the print checkout line, my the lady leans into my mom and says, You know, this is going to turn him into an axe murderer. My mom gives her a curious look. And leans back in and says, But you know, he's going to be the best damn axe murderer out there. And from that point on, I was always curious, like, why does why does everyone give video games such a bad stigma? Surely there's got to be something good out there. Something positive that video games do for all of society. And trial and error and figuring out for myself and looking up stuff, I have found stuff that video games give to the world that are good. And skills that are probably needed very, very much. And by doing research, I actually found that video games can be quite useful. For example, in the University of Rochester, they've done studies that show that people who play video games have a higher cognitive ability than people who don't. Now, what they say is that by the process of playing games such as Call of Duty, Modern Warfare, those types of games, you have to have you are doing so many different objectives at one time, your brain has to adapt to filter and get all the information to what you need. So it prioritizes, it does everything. And to me, that's an exa that is a great, great real-life example of stuff. I mean, real life, you have to prioritize, you have to take in a bunch of information at one time and process it. And video games just help make that process a lot easier. There's a great example at how video games can help. Oh, well, you're wondering, how? Well, I'm going to tell you. Iowa State University has done studies. And in one of their studies, they found 33 doctors who play video games, an average of three hours per week. They had a 27% higher, faster rate of doing their surgeries and 37% less mistakes done. That's, that's a big deal. Especially in surgery, because no surgery is guaranteed. Makes me want to think the next time I have surgery. Hey Doc, what level is your warrior? I guess I can actually ask him that now. I want to encourage parents to talk with their kids. Find out if they're emotionally ready to handle certain types of video games. Not all video games are good for every kid. You have to gauge on if they're able to maturely hold that information and not act out on like that is fact and that's how the world works almost all video games now have a rating on them and parents a lot of times just buy their the game whatever game that their child wants and not put in the time to find the research or find out if their child is ready to handle that type of game so parents please Sit down with your kids. Talk to them. Find out if they're ready to handle Grand Theft Auto or Call of Duty. Some kids just aren't ready. And there's nothing wrong, nothing wrong with that at all. Get them games that you believe are they are capable of handling. Now, gee, excuse me. I got myself a princess to save. Up, down, down the corridor. Go. Now we're going to fire blast! <laughs>